Once you've either created or uploaded your content to the server, you then need to put it into a schedule in order to send it to the display. To create a schedule, open a web browser and type in the address of the server in the following format. Replace the IP address here with the IP address of your own server. Enter the user ID and password and then click Sign In. Then select the Schedule tab from the left-hand menu and then New Schedule and then select Content. Select the type of device you want to send the content to. This can be a mix of devices but selecting the newest device you have should include all previous models. Then click Create. From the left-hand menu, drag a piece of content onto the schedule calendar. The content can be moved and resized by clicking and dragging with the mouse or by clicking on the handle at the bottom of the content and dragging down. Double-click on the content to open the advanced settings for the schedule. Tick the Never Expire and 24-hour boxes to create a never-ending schedule, then click Save. Additional options allow you to change the presentation by selecting the magnifying glass, change the start and end date, change the repetition from daily to weekly to monthly and specify dates. The schedule will now fill. Additional content can be dragged into the schedule to interrupt the existing content temporarily, after which the primary schedule will continue. Click the Save button to send the schedule to the screen. A window will now open to allow you to configure the schedule. First give your schedule a name, then click the Schedule Group magnifying glass to choose the group and click Save. In most cases this will be the default. Click the Publish To magnifying glass to select the devices you want to send the schedule to. Click Save and then click Save and Publish. When the progress bar goes green, the schedule will be delivered and the content displayed to the screens. Any schedule can be re-edited by selecting the tick box next to the schedule name and selecting Edit from the menu above. This will follow the same process as when creating a new schedule. If you'd like me to continue producing more of these videos, please subscribe using the button below and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks very much.